everyone. My name is Liu Shizhong. I'm a research fellow at the Taiwan Brain Trust, uh, a leading think tank in Taipei. Uh, today, we are proudly to present uh, a new foreign policy outlook for Taiwan's future. It's called uh, the National Vision for Taiwan. And uh, as a think tank in Taipei, uh, we uh, came up with this new vision of a foreign policy direction for Taiwan. And as you may know, Taiwan is entering uh, a very hot debated presidential elections in the next six months. So as a responsible think tank, hopefully we can come up with a, a, a more a responsible and forward-looking uh, foreign policy agenda for Taiwan's future. Uh, on the one hand, we, crit we, we have been criticizing the current Ma ying uh, administration of the uh, Chinese Nationalist Party, the KMT, for its failure to uh, push forward a constructive and forward-looking foreign policy for Taiwan. Because the current Ma ying administration has, uh, in the past three years, adopted a passive uh, so-called diplomatic truth with uh, the, the People's Republic of China. And in the past three years, we have seen a lot of side effects and downsides uh, related to this notion of diplomatic truth. For example, there has been an increasing international image that Taiwan is part of People's Republic of China. And that's what worries us and worries the 23 million uh, people uh, on these islands. And secondly, uh, because the current Ma ying administration adopted a diplomatic truce with the PRC, he has uh, created a, a huge, he has demoralized the Taiwan's uh, diplomats uh, around the world. So we have seen recently uh, some corruptive uh, uh, misconducts uh, related to some ta Taiwan's uh, uh, overseas uh, representative office. And all these have related to the policies and strategies adopted by the Ma ying administration. And from our perspective, we believe that Taiwan needs a more forward-looking and, 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 and more uh, uh, reactive uh, foreign policy agenda. So we suggest a future president of Taiwan and future uh, uh, new government to adopt, uh, to incorporate the concept of smart power diplomacy into Taiwan's foreign policy agenda. Uh, the definition of smart power diplomacy in, Ta in future Taiwan's government uh, uh, entails both uh, the, the use of uh, hot power and, and, and soft power uh, into Taiwan's uh, foreign policy. So we have to uh, make the best use of Taiwan's human, humanitarian aid in the past, as well as Taiwan's uh, medical aid, and also other uh, more soft power-oriented diplomatic practice as a driving force for this small power diplom diplomacy. And also, on the, one, on the other hand, we need to use further make, uh, utilize Taiwan's democratic achievement as uh, another small power device to appear to international society. Uh, given the fact that the current mind administration's uh, failure to inject more uh, efficiency into its governing, uh, the, the most public poll has indicated that there's a greater chance for Taiwan to have the third alternational political parties in next January, along with uh, the next presidential elections. So we were looking forward to the comeback of the, uh, the opposition Democratic Progressive Party in next January. So starting in next May, we will probably have the new DPP government. So as a think tank, despite that so far, uh, the, the, the presidential candidates from both parties haven't come up with concrete uh, foreign policy uh, blueprint, but as a responsible think tank, we, uh, we, take, we, we take the lead in providing this uh, new foreign policy agenda, for the, uh, especially for the DPP's pre presidential candidate, Chairwoman Tsai Ing-wen. And also we understand the importance of uh, the relationship between Taiwan's foreign policy and cross-strait policy. And we, we, well, we don't believe that, we don't agree with uh, the current Ma ying administration's uh, sp uh, policy of uh, using the so-called 1992 consensus as, uh, as a political base for cross-strait interactions. So we suggest the future DP government to adopt uh, another alternative new political basis for future DPP and Chinese Communist Party's uh, dialogue. And we call it the state of brotherhood. We see cross rail relationship as a relationship of brotherhood uh, in terms of uh, how to define future uh, relationship uh, uh, on this state, statehood. Uh, we leave it to future DPP uh, president to, to, to negotiate with her Chinese counterpart. So we believe 
we need more creative and alternative thinking, strategic thinking, to forge uh, a constructive relationship for future relationship between Taiwan and People's Republic of China. So the Taiwan Brand Trust is proudly to present this new foreign policy agenda for future Taiwan leader, uh, leaders. So we welcome your comments in the future. Thank you.